Hey guys, Dan Carr here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Canon 300mm f2.8 LIS version 2. Now, this lens has been out for a little while, but this is the first time I've had my hands on it to give it uh, a thorough testing. So I wanted to just run through some of the features of it and compare it to the previous version, the Mark 1 version of this lens. So, um, with Canon's new super telephoto lenses that have come out in the last year, they've really concentrated on making them much lighter. Uh, the 300mm Mark II that we have here has the smallest weight saving. Um, it's 8% lighter than the previous version. And uh, it's noticeable in your hand, but it's not really, uh, it's not groundbreaking. The new 400mm is actually 28% lighter, which really makes a difference to how you might use it. But uh, another difference is they've got a different type of lens cap on here. This is much easier. You just uh, unvelcro it like this, and it's got this sort of hard front in there, but this is uh, much, much smaller than... Uh, this is the Mark I version. You see it has this great big leather-esque uh, cap on it, and um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to take off that one. So this is a much uh, needed small improvement. Um, let's just pop this lens hood on. We've got a slightly different uh, knob on here, but the, the method of clamping the hood to the lens is the same. It's fairly rudimentary. Um, just, uh, yeah, it just grips in with this little twisting knob there. So, um, you just tighten and loosen it like this. Now, one of the other things, actually, uh, I just used it right then, is that the 300mm Mark II has uh, a built-in collar. So now when you're moving it around, it's, it's much easier to handle like this, actually. Um, the previous version, which I'll just grab. So this is the previous version, and on this one, the lens collar is on the outside of the lens like this. Um, it operates in the same way. You've got this twisting knob here, and, and it rotates around. But having it built in like this, um, it's just a little bit easier, and uh, it makes the lens look a bit nicer, and it's a little bit less bulky in this area. So uh, if we go around on the side here, uh, stabilizer mode 1, 2, and 3. Uh, the previous version of this lens only had 1 and 2. Um, we have the third stabilizer mode now, which is uh, a special mode if you are shooting action and you're panning around. It stops the image stabilization jumping around as you're uh, tracking focus. So um, I haven't actually used this yet myself, but people tell me that it's pretty good. Um, all this other stuff, uh, Autofocus and manual focus, that's all the same. We have a power focus mode now as well, which is PF in the middle here. Uh, that wasn't on the previous version, and that is to do with uh, smooth focusing for shooting video. So uh, you can actually set, um, you could always set a preset focus point using this button, and then you can activate it using this little ring here. Uh, but now with power focus mode, it zooms in nice and smooth uh, up to this point. So that's to aid people shooting video with um, Canon's cameras and, and this long lens. So uh, that's neat if you're going to be shooting video for sure. Um, set button, focus preset on and off. That's all the same as it was before. So as I said, uh, this is actually a customizable button. You can use this for the set button as well. Um, but you can set a focus mark and then you can jump right to it using this little ring here. Um, and that's about it really. I mean, um, everything else about this lens uh, everything on the back here is the same. Uh, you can't really see it because I've got this in the gimbal, but we actually have a much smaller foot. Uh, the camera ships with two different feet now, so you have this smaller one, which is uh, a little bit better for going on a monopod, and then they have a much longer one, which uh, might suit going on a tripod or, or a gimbal such as this. Um, but even with the short one, this is just fine. So in short, those are the, the new features, uh, the changes to the 300 millimeter f2.8. IS version 2. Now um, I'm just going to grab my Mark 1 again. So um, I put them side by side. You can see that there's there's a small length difference, um, but it's fairly minimal. 
Uh, the weight saving, as I said, is, is 8%. Um, this Mark 1 is still an absolutely uh, phenomenal lens. So um, I'm looking forward to trying this one because this one should be a little sharper. But overall, there's not an enormous difference physically between these two lenses.